Hello everyone, this is Saikshi Sharma and today we will discuss about the welcome screen in Adobe Illustrator. So first thing I would like to tell you here is that the older versions of Adobe Illustrator does not have the welcome screen. Uh, but the new version do have and the newest version of 2019-2020 uh, had the home screen. That's a different scenario. We'll discuss about the welcome screen which comes with 2017 version CC Adobe Illustrator. So going forward, I'll just minimize myself. We have to talk about many things here like create new, open a file, presets, templates. But before that, I would really like you guys to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the newest videos, notifications. Okay, so going forward, we will discuss about, first about the new, create new option. So when you cre uh, click on the new button here, this is, at, uh, this is an option for creating a new document. You can see a lot of things here. These are all the presets which I have already uh, be like I've already saved them by default these actually can get saved by default you can save them also so these are all custom 1920 by 110 and everything so we'll talk about the presets which comes with the Adobe Illustrator which are these these presets are for mobile these presets are for web. These are the uh, these are for print, print purpose. Okay. These are the fil for film and video. And this is for art and illustration. So the difference between template and preset is these are the blank presets. Uh, when you open a document by selecting a preset. And if you, uh, before that, if you want to edit anything, any uh, width and height or orientation or type of uh, measurement you want to edit or give a bleed size or give a color mode to it, you can do it from here. So I'll tell you it slowly, slowly what everything means. Width is exactly the type, like the height and weight, height and width of a particular artwork. Orientation is uh, when you, if you want to work in the vertical or the horizontal view of the artboard like however the artboard is we are working some uh, on the horizontal artboard then you can work on this orientation if you're working on the vertical artboard then you can work on this orientation if you're working on something like annual reports or magazines or any kind of artwork in which uh, there are multiple artboards multiple pages and you are making all the pages then uh, i would recommend that you put the number of artboards you will be uh, requiring in this option you can do that i mean you can also uh, add the artboards when you are already working while working you can actually add the artboards but it's good if you uh, opt it here because uh, the whole document is organized that way uh, if you add it by yourself you will have to organize it by yourself then um bleed is something it gives the border to your artwork uh, we'll discuss thoroughly about it in some time. I'll give three or two is fine. Color mode is basically whenever you're making something for the digital purpose, then you should keep RGB color. And if you're making something for the print purpose, then you should make the CMYK color. This is uh, coming because, see, the chosen color mode is different from the color space defined in the doc, defined by the document profile, which is this postcard which is for the uh, RGB purpose, the digital purpose. Panel content may not ma match the color mode, new color mode. So whenever you, that's what I'm saying, that whenever you make something for the web, always choose RGB color. And whenever you make something for the print purpose, always use CMYK color mode. When you go here on the more settings option, since we have uh, customized our panel here, that's why it's saying custom okay you can uh, give your profile name here let's say annual report and the width and height is already defined orientation is vertical for us color mode is rgb raster effects so i was saying uh, that when you uh, make something always make it in higher resolution it's uh, 
preferably advisable for from everybody but uh, when you make something in the screen this this option this makes the size resolution the document resolution very small and it helps you to download it like upload it on the websites so that the websites uh, function is normal they don't really get a lot of time to open it so it's always recommended that you do it in high resolution for the web for the higher resolution okay if you want to export these uh, documents in the lower resolution also in up like after after you have made the whole document then you can do that there are options to that we'll discuss about it in the coming up videos second thing i don't want to discuss since we're here are the blank templates the one thing uh, which comes with blank templates uh, you will see you will notice you should notice actually is the dot ait file name so whenever you save something in illustrator they give you a file extension name of dot ai but not dot ait but since we are working these are all the these are all templates of adobe illustrator that's why they have given the file extension of ait adobe illustrator template so it's recommended that when you were when are you when you uh, open this whatever the document let's say you open it okay double click on it will open wait a second it's okay so these are all the blank documents as i said these are the blank templates so if you see let's say you did something here you made some changes in it and put boxes tickets and here also i have the boxes so whenever you save the file as i said it will be saved in dot ai adobe illustrator extension you can save in other extensions also i'll explain all these extensions to you so let's say you have saved it in this and you named it template okay but it's saved in ai you can save it in pdf it's a pdf extension eps temp ait you can save it in ait also you can make your own template and save them uh, in this extension dot ait svg and that's fcg compressed svg are basically it makes the document higher resolution so if you want something in higher resolution higher document then you can save in svg or svg compressed okay now we are saving it in illustrator illustrator file so it will be like this if you are saving it this software this document as a template if you want to be when you want to keep these as templates then you can save it in adobe illustrator template illustrator template dot ait okay so, i'm not saving it of course i was just showing you so now i will go back yeah so whatever you make and save it in ai uh, whatever changes you do in the ai we file and save it those changes will not appear in the uh, how do you say it in the ai file which from where you open the file that original file will not be changed it will be doc blank document only that's about it um uh, yeah I explained you these and if you want to uh, download something from Adobe Stock, if you want to go and explore these templates, I can just click on these. See the preview here. These are looking like this. Okay, if you like the look and feel of it, of these templates, then you can download it from here. Then you click on it, a window will appear, and the uh, Adobe Stock website will appear. You will have to download it from Adobe Stock software. These are connected to Creative Cloud. These templates are connected to Creative Cloud. Okay. You need to have a uh, ID on Creative Cloud for all these things. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I left anything. These are recent pieces which I have been working on. The size which I usually work on, these uh, got saved here. That's okay. Okay. Cool. So, 
if you have any questions then please do comment below i will reply to them and if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel so that we can you know, get notified of the newest videos which i will be uploading every sunday and that's all bye see ya love you guys